Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World. Uh, what we're going to show you right here is um, we've made a short top three video um, for what we believe is the uh, sort of probably the best value um, home DIY diagnostic packages available on the market right now. We're not going to go into too much detail with regards to the high end stuff. So the things you'd buy from the dealers where you'd expect to pay uh, sort of five figures, certainly like five and six thousand um, pounds. Also at the other end of the scale, we're not going to cover things which have been uh, cloned or are actually fakes uh, because it's just a whole world of pain getting into the fake diagnostics. Uh, there are fakes out there that can damage a vehicle. We'd certainly recommend not touching them. Um, these three kits, perfectly safe on your own vehicle. If you're trying to find a fault or trying to reset the fault yourself, um, these are the, the top three that we'd sort of look at to recommend at the moment. Um, that's not to say that there are better tools out there. This, this is just what we think and we would certainly recommend to go for at the moment. Uh, so the first tool, uh, this is the i902 kit. Um, this is for Vauxhall or Opel vehicles. And what I'll do is I'll just put a bit of space here and I'll show you the actual tool. We'll open the box. So it comes in a nice carry pouch. Let's zip it open. Let's do that. So you've got the user manual here. Pull the tool out. You've got a USB cable for when you update the tool. The kit comes with three updates, we'll come to that in a moment. Uh, so we'll just pull the tool out. So this is the actual unit itself. Now that's the OBD2 diagnostic port plug, so you've got 16 pins there. That goes straight into the diagnostic port. When you plug that in, the screen will come to life and it'll then give you the option to select your model year and your specific uh, Vauxhall or Opel vehicle so you can start diagnosing faults. Now um, it's great if you've got faults in the systems like the engine, the ABS, the airbags, the transmission systems. Uh, this will pick up faults in those systems, no problem at all. It will give you uh, information on why the fault is there, so it will give you a fault code and also give you a uh, fault code description. So it might say something like P0141. Um, and the description below that might read something like uh, O2 sur sensor circuit malfunction, bank 1 sensor 2. So that to me tells me one of the O2 sensors needs to be replaced. Um, so it's good for basic code reading and basic uh, diagnostics, resetting warning lights, things like that. Uh, this is the i902. Now you will get free lifetime updates. So uh, as new cars are released onto the market, as new vo voxels are released, the software can be updated to include those models on the actual kit. Um, so that's why it's very handy. Um, it'll also come with updates to actually um, increase the usability on your own vehicle as well. Uh, the iCarsoft engineers, they're always looking for ways to uh, make the tools uh, better with regards to the software which is on there. And it comes with obviously free lifetime support. So that's the iCarsoft i902 kit. Now of the three kits I'm going to show you today, this will be the cheapest kit. You can see the prices on the website. So that's the i902 kit. Now moving on from that, is the next step up which is the OP2 kit. Now this is, this is a follow on from here. So I'll show you what this kit, obviously you can see the box is a bit better, uh, bigger sorry. And as is the case, which probably means one thing, that the actual unit itself is going to be bigger. And you will be correct. So we'll just pull it out. Right, so that's the tool itself. And it's almost like a, a handheld games console from the 90s. Your buttons there. Got a nice big screen. It's got like pitted sections there to put your hands in like that. So it's very easy to, to hold uh, and navigate the system when you're actually sitting in the vehicle. So you've got uh, one cable which goes in there, the other end of the cable goes into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Now this again will cover everything that is covered on the i902 kit. So it'll do all of your main systems like your airbags, engine, ABS, transmission. 
the added function with this is that it will also cover uh, the oil service reset. So if you've got a message to say that your service is due, or your service is overdue, or you need to reset that, um, this is the tool you'll need. Uh, it's very, it's very well made, very well prepared. Uh, the the menu systems on these tools they're absolutely fantastic. Um, so easy to navigate. If you've never used a diagnostic tool before, um, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about because they make it it's very easy. All you really need to do is plug it in, select your model year, select your actual vehicle, and then you're away. You're diagnosing codes, and you're resetting fault codes, and you're resetting warning lights within minutes. Uh, so it's very easy to do. It's a very good tool. Uh, so that's the iCarsoft OP, or OP2, as they call it. So it's uh, suitable for Vauxhall or Opel, depending on where you are in the world. So we'll just put this back in its pouch here, and then we'll show you the next tool. You get links to all three of these tools in the listing uh, on the information section below this video. So you can just spot them directly. Uh, Alright, so those two, now moving on, obviously you see this is the next one in line, this is the launch CRP123 kit. And this follows on the same theme as the OP2 kit, which has sort of a handheld feel to it. Just like that as you can see. Um, again, plugs in there, the other end goes into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Very easy, very well laid out. Buttons, well, big screen again. And it's, it follows the same procedure as this now. Why would you choose this kit over this kit? Or why would you choose this kit over this kit? Is probably the question. Um, this kit here is great if you have more than one vehicle in your family, or you have more than one vehicle amongst your circle of friends, um, or you're planning on getting another car, or indeed you have a few other cars. So say for example, you own a Vauxhall, and your partner, your wife, your husband, owns a BMW, owns an Audi, an Oct a Skoda, uh, a Saab, a Volvo, something like that. Anything European basically. Uh, although it does cover other things like Kia as well. Um, but yeah, so that's, so basically if you've got more than one car to look after, this is probably the tool to go for. Um, they're all excellent tools in fact, it's just that this one has the ability to cover more than one make and model. Whereas these two kits here, they are stuck to Vauxhall and Opel vehicles. Um, so that's why you would choose this, this kit over the others. Um, system coverage wise, it'll cover the main system, so it covers engines, airbags, ABS and transmission. It doesn't do any oil service resets or anything like that. Um, it's just a four system kit, but it covers a wide range of vehicles. So. Uh, on the website, if you go on the website or click the link below the video, um, it'll show you a full list of all the vehicles um, that are actually covered by the CRP123. Um, they're all always in stock, they're all very popular, um, and there's a, there's a reason why they're popular. You know, basically a lot of people, they want to try and do things themselves, they want to try and save money where possible. Once you've used these kits a few times, you've already saved money. If you were to take your car to the garage, or the dealer, you could pay between 50 and 85 pounds to actually simply just get the kit, the, your car plugged into a diagnostic scanner. Um, once you've used this twice, it's already paid for itself. So that's why they're so popular, basically. Um, but yeah, so take a look on our website. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, go to Google, just type in Diagnostic World or you can click uh, the information section directly below this video and we'll give you links to all three of these kits uh, just to make it easier for them to find for you and you'll find more DIY videos and more pictures and more information about the actual tools so you can get to see the actual tools in action as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video and I hope it helps you make a decision if you are looking for your own diagnostic tool.